Sayyid Amma hasn't been short of attacks. You mentioned the the clip about you know taken out of context, but there's there's no clips made. There's a lot of not a lot actually. There's yeah. a handful, but they you know they they start getting sent around, and you'll see them attacking you. You know some some saying you know Sayyid Ammar's friends with Tawhidi. They'll classify Sayyid Ammar is a for example Shirazi. Sayyid Ammar works for the CIA. <laughs> Sayyid Ammar is a government agent. Say you know. Saying Ammar is it, all this stuff, you know, what do you say about those, you know, and those attacks in there? Firstly, if you're on the public spotlight, then you can't expect for everybody to love you. If Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, had haters, then who am I? Imam Ali السلام, never put a foot wrong. He had people insulting him, cursing him, saying he wasn't a Muslim, saying he didn't even pray. So who am I to expect a free ride? You've got to expect these things. There are certain positions that, or situations that may only happen with me, may not happen with others. Where there may be certain personalities who want to take a photo with me, they may not take a photo with others. So for example, Sheikh Tawhidi, when he asks to take a picture with you, I'm not going to turn around and say, no, I don't want to take a picture with you because, you know, me and you disagree on a lot of things. So I'm not going to take a picture with you. He wants to take a picture. I'll take a picture. Does that mean that me and Sheikh Tawhidi agree on everything? He himself will be the first to say that there are many areas that we differ. We differ maybe on areas of approach, opinion, styles. But just because people have seen a picture of me with somebody... Or maybe the other way around, somebody with me. Does not mean that we completely agree with each other's opinions. Or that we accept every statement that has come out of our mouths. You mentioned a couple of other areas apart from... CIA, government oh, yeah. agent. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. You know, you've yeah. seen. I'm sure you've seen one or two clips. Yeah, well, you know, I think I think that's pretty unbelievable and all of this. I can't even get into America. <laughs> so, you know, that it's sad, um, but that slander always exists. Look, for for goodness' sake, said Kamal Haidari right now, there are people calling him kafir, marja, mm. scholar in his own right. You may differ with said Kamal on certain areas. You could not deny that the man is a scholar. He's now being called a kafir. How many others can you name me who were also called kuffar? Quite a few. Who am I then? So, if a person is going to come and say that CIA and Shirazi, I, I do the taqlid of Ayatollah Sistani, just because I have a show or lectures on a channel which may be sponsored by who? By the Shirazi family. I ask people a question. What do you know about the background of the Shirazi family? Yes, mm. I come from a background where my grandfather mm. was in charge of Ayatollah al khoi's office in Najaf for 20 years of his life. Mm. So you could say that my background is within the Marja'iya. Ayatollah al-Sistani close with my grandfather. Ayatollah al khoi close with my grandfather. Ayatollah Khomeini close with my grandfather. But okay, we now come to pastors new we come to the uk and when we come to the uk we have pockets of people who come from different Background. backgrounds but we're all trying to work together when i come on imam hussein tv i don't come on saying that i'm coming on the shirazi channel i have my differences clearly on some scholars that are not revered by the shirazi family who i revere I revere Ayatollah Khomeini. I revere Allama Taba Taba. I come on a channel that may not necessarily revere them. If that channel was outright in, for example, saying that only a certain type of person can come on the channel, you'd be not then there. I wouldn't be on that channel because they know that I revere certain people they don't revere. If now, Ayatollah Khamenei, says that you cannot, for example, 
curse the wives of the Prophet or curse the companions of the Prophet. Is he saying that that's not in Shia literature? Or is he saying that such acts are not beneficial for the future of the unity of the Muslims in the world today? Do we find cursing in Shia literature? Because you can't hide these books anymore. They're all available on the internet. You want to try and tell people that we Shia don't win. It's all available on online. A person can go and PDF the Bihar or the Wasail or Al-Kafi. Or the works of, for example, Ibn Tawus, or the works of, for example, others such as Safar or Barqi and so on. You can find this in there. So don't look at those who bring out things from Shi'i literature and straight away say, because you've brought out something controversial, that means you must be an agent. No. That's in our books. You may have your political worldview which says that I remember, for example, 2011. Mm. I made a statement that you sitting at home and slandering the companions, which are revered by other schools of Islam, is something that is causing the deaths of other Shia. Mm. A few years later, when ISIS was massacring the Shia, and there were non-Shia who weren't batting an eyelid, silent in their condemnation. Mm. I came out clearly and highlighted where I believed was the root of this terrorism that exists. People said, Amman Akshawan has changed. Before, he would never. It's not about change. There's a time Imam Ali salam, believes silence is best. There's a time he's like, bring it on a Jamal and Safin. What are you waiting for? There's a time Imam Sadiq salam, speaks rational. There's a time he moves to a mystical type of Shiism. There is an understanding that there are different epochs. You look at the world and you look at the context around you. What's sad for me is that those who make such clips, why don't you approach me and ask me, talk to me. If you're going to accuse me of being Shirazi and I'm doing taqlid of Ayatollah Sistani. If you're going to accuse me of this or that, know the context, the background. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, ijtanibu kathiran min al-dhan. Inna ba'd al-dhan ni ithm. Oh, you who believe avoid suspicion, for suspicion in some cases can be a sin. sin. That's all I wish. Otherwise, can you stop people from having issues with you? Believe you me, there are people who may sometimes have issues with you, not because they feel you're a bad person, but because of a petty thing that's occurred. And they take out the whole thing on you completely. And we don't need to delve into that any further, I don't think. What if, sorry, I'm, I'm, I am going to do it. You know, those that are listening, that have made these clips, or that have attacked you, or that have said things about you, you know, does it get to you? Does it upset you? What would you say to them if they're listening right now? And they've made No, I just say to them that, listen, I'd, I'd hope that the base of what we're trying to, walk to work towards is to serve the Imam of our time. We may differ in the way Zorara differed with Mu'min al-Taq. Mm. Maybe Hisham ibn al-Hakam and Muhammad bin Muslim. Maybe Jabir bin Yazid al-Ju'fi and Abu Basir. There are companions of our Imams who love to serve the Imam, as in the majority of the names I just mentioned, mm. They love to serve the Imam of their time, but one had an approach that was maybe a bit more direct than the other, a bit more forthright than the other, a bit more, a bit less diplomatic than the other. But some were known later on as Ashab al Ijma, the ones who, when you see their names in the chains of narrations, you automatically would see some sort of authenticity there. If therefore we can find that in the companions of the Imams, they had the same love for the Imam. But their worldview may have differed. We have to consider this. We have to consider that we may have different worldviews, but we're all, inshallah, having the same aim. And inshallah, we sit together one day and have a dinner together, even with the detractor. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people may have an image because they haven't met you. They have an image about you. And I can't help that, that 
you reach a position in your career where it's very difficult to meet everybody who knows you or has heard of you, well, inshallah, we come together one day. And if we don't come together, we think of making 70 excuses for one another.